Aya has already lived through at least one Israeli offensive, and she has only ever known Gaza under blockade. Five months ago, she suffered second and third degree burns. It was 7 o'clock in the morning, we'd made tea for breakfast. We were sitting on the balcony and she dropped the teapot, spilling boiling water all over her body and face. Aya is better now, but here in this stricken land, domestic accidents are only too common, and victims join the long list of people wounded during the 2014 conflict and who still require treatment. Occupation and the embargo are the main causes of the challenges we face to provide medical services. They create a lack of drug and medical supplies and constant power cuts. And people also start messing around with electricity cables and alternative energy sources, which results in an increase in the number of burns victims that we then need to treat. In Gaza, MSF runs three post-operative care clinics and regularly deploys surgeons for reconstructive surgery programs for the victims of war and the embargo.